Recent advancements in natural language generation have greatly enhanced the capabilities and uses of large language models. However, this progress also raises concerns about the potential for misuse. Now, some researchers are investigating whether LLM-generated text can be properly detected, and exactly how this can be done. Join us as we speak with Ryan Tong and Alan Jong at Rice University to discuss the science of detecting LLM-generated text. In this paper, we want to provide an overview of existing methods that detect the LLM-generated text, and we want to enhance the control and the regulation of this powerful generative AI. Of course, everyone can benefit from those uh, detection methods, including individuals and the institutions. For example, educators and academic institutions can benefit from identifying the language model generated text to maintain their academic integrity. And also, the general public then can benefit from those detection methods by telling the real from the fake generated by, by language models. People can easily choose what to believe and what to question. LLM-generated text detection methods fall into two main categories, black box detection and white box detection, each with distinct features and limitations. So for this black box detection method, we assume the detector method that only has limited API access to these larger models. So to this end, this method needs to collect many human authored data, and also this LLM generated data to train a binary classifier to distinguish this uh, LM generated text. So different from the black box detection method, for this white box detection method, we assume the detector has the full access to the larger general models. So in this end, the, the detector can add watermarks into this LM generated text and use it to trace the usage of the generated text. White box detection operates under the premise that developers manage the LLM, providing it as a service to users. However, the trend of open sourcing LLMs presents a hurdle for such detection strategies. The user has the fully control of these open source larger models, which means that the user can significantly change the behavior of these larger models. So it will uh, impact the detection accuracy. For example, this change of the behavior might reduce the detection accuracy of this black box method. And also, it might remove the watermarks in the LLM generated text, and also reduce the detection accuracy of this white box method. As the field of LLM detection advances, adapting to its complexities becomes crucial, not only setting the stage for future developments, but also acting as a critical step towards addressing the evolving scenarios ahead. In my opinion, I believe those detection methods applying on high-stake real-world applications need to be empowered. This is because those high-stake applications such as healthcare systems or education systems need to provide a more stable, reliable solutions by using those language model generated texts. So we definitely have to collaborate with a lot of their experts to build up those regulations to prevent those misuse on the academic side or the healthcare side. We believe the future belongs to this white box method. So although uh, nowadays this black box method still works, this is because these larger models leave these uh, linguistic patterns in their generated text. However, as the larger models evolve and improve, this black box method will become less effective. However, the challenge is that how could we design these stealthy and robust watermarks into the uh, LLM generated text? And how could we force the, all these big companies to add these watermarks into their products? So that will be a very challenging question. So definitely we need to collaborate with the governments to have policies and the laws to further uh, regulate the use of these powerful generative AIs. Find out more in The Science of Detecting LLM Generated Text, a research article in the April 2024 Communications of the ACM.